The soul manifests itself into physical reality in the form of a cell. The space at the very core of that energy field is where your first actual organ, the heart, appears. This is where the soul takes its seat. The heart is the field of action of the mind. The biggest and the vastest of all the chakras. The mind in the brain is a thinking mind and the mind in the heart is a feeling mind. As we go into the heart, thinking moves towards feeling and so we perceive much faster, more immediately and more correctly. Heart releases electric signals first and then the brain and the body. The heart is the one that is a master for development. It's not limited to the brain. The deepest intelligence will lie at the center of that field, which is the heart. The heart is 100 times electrically stronger and up to 5,000 times stronger magnetically than the brain. Throughout ancient history, the heart was always considered as the center of the being. This is where we're joined. This is where we're united. What the heart does is it brings together these fields of subconscious, conscious and superconscious. And this is called having 360 degree vision. Our memories and our experiences from the past color our consciousness. Heart is also a gland which secretes hormones. It acts in the anatomical space as well as in the physiological and psychological space. Hormones are the third dimensional manifestation of these feelings and vibrations from the higher frequency coming down into the physical body. Transmission is not a matter of knowledge, experience. You can feel the actions or the impact of transmission when we meditate. The most subtle energy you could possibly imagine coming from the source. With transmission, everything changes. Somebody is able to transmit and take us into subconscious and also make us experience our superconscious. And that inner journey is the journey of the inner universe, which is more vast than the outer universe. When you do meditation, your vagus activity is in the overdrive. You are more controlled and self-regulated. You shift your irregular, asynchronous hearted variability to synchronous oscillation. We feel calm, we feel centered, we feel balanced. Maintaining the connection with the divine. My ability to grow. My leadership has also changed. There is a sense of being connected to the rest of the world. It's a different experience every time, but I get glimpses of something that energizes me on such a deep level. I brought meditation into Harpo Studios, so we started meditating. Seven of us, seven led to 70, led to 270, led to now everybody in the company meditates. Meditation resulting into shift in consciousness of human beings. From the stone-like to plant-like to animal-like to human-like to angelic-like consciousness that we should all have it. And this is possible when particular genetic meditation will happen. When we all meditating together throughout the globe reach a critical mass aggregor. Many scientists believe that a feedback loop exists between all humans and the Earth's energetic system. As a critical mass of cultures, if nations become more harmoniously aligned, this can eventually lead to global coherence and sustainable peace.